On July 24, 1986, 15-year-old Linda Schomer looked like this as she rode on a moped with her boyfriend in Wichita. But in an instant, their lives were transformed when a car hit them and Linda went flying. She was in a coma for two months and had to relearn everything, including how to write. I was very angry at the beginning, um, just angry at the fact that I was kept alive. But Linda pressed on, and as part of her therapy, her parents bought her a typewriter. She began writing down her thoughts about the ordeal. Peck, peck, one letter at a time. Those letters made thousands of words that captured the essence of her frustration. I can think, why can't I talk? Why does someone have to feed me? What's wrong with my hands? I realize it's not a dream. Although Linda finished compiling her notes a few years after the accident, and while she didn't know it then, those words would change her forever. Having the accident saved my life. Um, it made me a much nicer, a much better person. I'm, I'm, more, I'm much more compassionate. And just recently, 23 years after the accident, Linda's words became compiled into a book called By the Grace of God, My Road to Recovery. It's a quick read, just her thoughts in verse form, from her right, initial anger to the heartbreak of a homecoming dance where her former boyfriend refused to kiss her. Devastated, Linda ran inside and began immediately writing. Jesus is talking to me, saying, Linda, you're not alone. You think you're alone, but you're not alone. And you can do this. So that was the whole turning point for me. That theme of you can do this can be found throughout the book. Linda is just hoping that no matter what somebody is going through, her message of hope and faith can help anybody survive anything. Everyone needs somebody. Somebody needs you. So brush away those tears. Put a smile on that beautiful face. Linda's face is a lot of places these days. The Valley Center paper put her on the front page. While it's nice to be recognized, Linda says the only thing she wants noticed is her spirit. If she can survive life's pain, so can we. Anthony Powell, KSN News. Don't kid yourself. You don't